I can go as far back as I want, right? The ability to hit left-handed, is that an option? I mean, yeah, it I is. It, I, it I absolutely just, is. I could ask for a second opinion. <laughs> and you could certainly ask, and uh, I could certainly say that you're not entitled to one. So my second shot here on the 12th hole at Lahontan brought me over here somehow on the left of the uh, flag stick in the green. So I have what many people would think is free relief because, gosh, I would be standing on the cart path. It's not that easy because it has to be a reasonable shot without this. So if this weren't here, would it be reasonable for me to hit? Well, no, I'm, I'm kind of trying to take advantage and get relief from the tree, not just the cart path. So it's not really reasonable. So I actually need some help, and I am Colin Blakey. I need some serious help. Okay, guys, this is an interesting situation. So to take or be entitled to free relief, um, you've got to have interference from uh, an immovable obstruction under Rule 16.1. But it also stays, or states that it has to be a reasonable stroke. Uh, playing straight into the trunk of a tree is not uh, what we consider a, a reasonable stroke, uh, considering the green is down that way. So Marcella wouldn't get free relief for the situation that she's, she's on here. Um, and she plays it lies or taken unplayable, uh, which could be within two club lengths for a penalty stroke, back on the line uh, with the flag keeping the point of the ball uh, on that line, uh, or she could go back to um, her last place played under stroke and distance, yeah. Um, however, Marcella could try to play out uh, sideways of this tree, so just have a go trying to play out sideways. Do you have any interference from the path? No, I don't. So there's no interference from the path there. But if I try to do this... Okay, so... You'll see here, Marcel has tried to use an unnormal or abnormal, sorry, uh, stance to try and gain free relief. This would also uh, not be permitted. So she wouldn't be entitled to get free relief by using an abnormal stance for what would, she would normally uh, play. Like, if you were going to play that stroke, what would your normal stance be? It would be a normal, short a smaller chip shot like starts you know feet closer together um, and and more weight on the front type thing so in that instance she doesn't actually have any interference from the immovable obstruction the, the cart path and wouldn't be entitled to free relief again she could use her unplayable ball option for a stroke penalty if i were left-handed or had the ability to hit left-handed is that an option i mean yeah, yeah, it I is. It, I, it, it I absolutely just... is. If, if you can flip the club around, uh, flip the club around and try and play a left-handed shot, do you, then is it, do you have interference from the... Yeah, I've seen, it's not reasonable. See, yeah, no. it wouldn't it be wouldn't, reasonable on that no. line of play because you've got the trunk of the tree there. Yeah. So there is no reasonable stroke here um, where you could try and prove that you can play a stroke and have interference from the car park. So two things that I'd like to clarify. The first one is when I'm saying that I must take complete relief, that wording is now in the rule that you must have complete relief from an immovable obstruction. But that's only if I'm taking free relief from it. I can be on the cart path or any other immovable obstruction if I choose to play it, whether the ball's on the cart path or a portion of my foot is on the cart path or both feet. That's my decision. But once I want to take free relief from that, now that's when I have to have complete relief. But then I have a question for you. Does the skill of the player come into play with this? Like what I'm able to do from this shot versus a pro who could like shape a shot or make it draw or fade or whatever. Does that come into play? Like what's reasonable for my skill level? It absolutely does. Skill level does come into play when uh, entitlement to free relief is, is concerned. I don't think anyone in in the world could play a shot around this tree to the flag. Um, I'd be happy to be uh, proven wrong. Um, and in that instance, it wouldn't be, considering that would be a miracle shot, it wouldn't be uh, wrong by me, the referee, in not giving you free relief because that is uh, a very unreasonable shot for any, any skill level, even the best in the world. But I could ask for a second opinion. <laughs> and you could certainly ask, and uh, I could certainly say that you're not entitled to one, but uh, I'm, I'd be happy 
considering the circumstances, uh, I'd be happy to get another referee out here to give I you could, a second an I opinion. I could fold a friend. Uh, I, <laughs> I know what they'd say. Another friend. <laughs> Uh, I, I definitely know what the other referee would say as yes. well. So I, I think I'd like to show me going back on the line. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I am going to leave a tee there, which I don't have. <laughs> Just got one of these Lahontan tees that oh, I picked up go. on the first. There you you don't have to put a tee down, uh, but it is a good idea to. Now, and back on the line, I basically back up and I hold the ball up. And I look at the flag, which I can see from here and I just start walking backwards and I'm going to see if I'm going to find a spot that I like. I can go as far back as I want, right? Back on the line here. We probably need the gimbal on that case. Oh, wow. Okay, so I we see I'm... Marcella taking back on the line. I mean, I can and then this. from there, she gets one club length to, within which to drop. So if I had another T, which I don't, I would put my tea down. You don't have to use a tea. Here you go, Marcel. You don't have to use a tea. You could use anything on the ground. Right. And I have one club length from there from my relief area that I make this little kind of pie shape or berry cobbler, whatever you're into. <laughs> and remember, it can be the longest club in the bag. Right. So I'm going to estimate, but I'm going to add a little bit to this, imagining that it's my driver. So now I'm kind of around here. So I'm going to take my drop now. The ball was rolled forward of where she dropped in the relief area, but not forward of the reference point. Right, that being my reference point. And you don't actually have to put the tee down like you're saying, but gosh, it's so much easier to have that first tee down. All right, so then now I go ahead and take my shot, which has to go between some trees. And this is where the skill level happens. Everybody hold on to your hat. Hold on to your hat. 